I really can't see anything because these goggles are completely blocking my vision. That's because they're night vision goggles and it's not night yet. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what the problem was. It's like living Whoa. in the future, man. Holy crap, I can see now. But I can because wow. I've got one eyeball that doesn't have a goggle on the way. It's or, like, I should say a monocle. This thing does a nice secondary job of choking me out when I've got it yes. leveraged up like that. Believe it or not, that is legitimate <laughs> Russian Gen 1 surplus stuff that they were using up into the 90s. Damn. Now, how am I supposed to use this with this? You don't use them at the this, same time. This seems... That doesn't work that way. However... It, I can't make it work. It doesn't... Yeah. Well, that's where things got figured out. First of all... Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to InRange TV. Tonight we're doing a kind of special video, being that it's night. We're going to demonstrate to you really what the reality is of our low-priced economy night vision optics versus high-end, say, a PVS-14 on the market. So we're going from a $200 Armasite to a $2,800 PVS-14. And if Ian's getting that right night now, you're looking at me through a PVS-14. So we wanted to demonstrate to you that we are in dark situation. It is night, and that's what a PVS-14 looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some footage with the Armasite, and we're going to do some footage with the PVS-14, both of us talking as well as with rifles, and really give you an idea of what you can and can't do with optics in these price ranges. All right, what we're doing here is a resolution test. We've got a steel target to my right at 50 yards. I came out from behind a tree at about 45 yards. What you want to do here is how quickly can you identify that a person's coming towards you? But more importantly, how soon can you identify or how close do I have to get before you can identify who that person is? All right, what we're doing here is a resolution test. We've got a steel target to my right at 50 yards. I came out from behind a tree at about 45 yards. What you want to do here is how quickly can you identify that a person's coming towards you? But more importantly, how soon can you identify or how close do I have to get before you can identify who that person is? All right, what you're looking at now is the Generation 2 Spanish Anosa scope. We have to do this one a little differently because it's a magnified night vision optic and it has a touchy focus knob. So I may not be in focus the whole time and you have to adjust that as things get closer to your field of view. All right, so this uh, being a military scope, the reticle can be turned on or off. You will notice that it's canted. That's because we have to cant the scope. It's mounted to a rifle and we're trying to get around a tripod to get onto the screen here. However, I think it's pretty obvious that if you look at that, that Q target at 50 yards, this scope is definitely advantageous. If, if you were dealing with adversaries that did not have night vision, you would definitely own the night. And this is better than nothing by far. All right, what you're looking through now is the PVS-14 behind an EOTech. I think you can see that this is a very excellent sight picture considering it's at night. And that EOTech reticle and that EOTech optic in general behind it with a PVS-14 behind it, it's like fighting in daylight. Alright guys, so everything we've shown you so far has been passive, that is with no active IR illumination. So you're looking through the Armasite right now, that Gen 1 Plus $200 optic. I'm going to light up this bush with an IR flashlight and we should see a difference. Yeah, about 10 yards away right now. So that's with the flashlight. Lighter, dimmer. Off, on, off, on. I think you'll see that with these earlier Gen 1 type tubes, active IR illumination makes a huge difference. Okay. So here we are lighting up a bush about 10 yards away. We're going to pan to the left, and you'll see that the Gen 1 tube really can't reach out. I can tell that this IR flashlight is lighting up this tree but you're not going to see as much of a difference on the tree. That's about 20 yards out. I'm going to turn the light off, on, and off. Now we're going to pan to the left. Target's 50 yards away, active illumination. Through my PVS-14, it's absolutely brighterly lit because I have an IR flashlight lit up. Flashlight's on, off, on, off. All right, so just for comparison, we're going to do the exact same scene. Passive and active IR illumination with the PVS-14. I think you're going to be able to tell you don't need active IR illumination right now, but we're going to hit it anyway. Here's the bush at 10 yards, and it probably is blooming out the optic. That's more light than you need. I'm going to turn the light off. We're going to pan left to the tree. I'm going to turn the light back on. Off. Tree at, two, at 20 yards. 
Again, probably more bright than you really honestly need. Off, we're gonna pan left to the target. Then I'm gonna hit it with the flashlight. Again, it makes it brighter, but really you don't need it. The PVS-14 is so good at light gathering that it's unnecessary in these conditions. So I think you can tell from looking at the footage you've already gathered that the PVS-14 is obviously a superior optic, but it should be for $2,800 or whatever bargain basement price you can find, but I can guarantee you it's $2,000 or more. With that in mind, this Armasite being a $200 optic from Optics Planet, you know, if you're without night vision, I would say I would be hard pressed to not recommend buying this optic. For $200, especially with a discount code, this, uh, this thing pretty much kicks ass. I mean, most people don't have night vision, and the, the fact that night vision of this quality is available on the market at that price range is astonishing. It wasn't that long ago that a Gen 1 unit would have been far more expensive than this, and this Gen 1 unit really is better than the original Gen 1s. We showed you some Russian Gen 1. That's what Gen 1 looks like. This is Gen 1 Plus. It's definitely a usable piece of optic. If you were to use this inside a house with some active IR illumination, like a flashlight, I think you'd find this to be a fantastic solution. So I'm impressed. I would say, if you don't have the money for a PVS-14, this Armasite is good to go. All right, guys, so overall, I mean, the Armasite's pretty cool. It's got some stuff going for it beyond just the price. I mean, for one thing, you see, I've got this thing on this, you know, Borg bondage headgear thing. The Armasite is actually set up where it can fit literally any mount or accessory or setup that's designed for a PVS-14, and that's pretty much all the military stuff. So this, Carl's fancy cry precision head mount, designed for PVS-14, fits the Armasite just perfectly. In fact, I'm seeing that, you know, the, the flare out from the camera recording light, I can see Carl nicely, etc, etc. Um, in the same way, you can mount this Armasite onto any weapons mount system that a PVS-14 will fit. So it's really a very versatile, uh, despite being an economy priced unit and Gen 1, Gen 1 Plus uh, sort of uh, light intensification, it's still a very versatile unit to have. And you know what? This is really pretty darn cool. Um, for the price, like Carl said, definitely well worth it, I think. Um, and man, you just feel real cool walking around out here being able to actually see in the dark. All right, guys, so I got my little short barrel AK-74 here in 5.56. I'm going to engage a steel target at 50 yards. We couldn't leave you hanging without some gunfire at night. All right, I have actually not gotten a chance to shoot my SETME with its Gen 2 night vision at night before, so we're gonna give that a try. I have no idea if this is anywhere near zero, but we'll find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this sort of content. We had a ball out here filming at night with a couple of different night vision units. If you enjoy this sort of content, please consider checking out our Patreon page. Uh, signing up and helping to support us there really means a lot to us and it does a lot to help us. Um, if you can't, obviously we understand. Just check out the, uh, the channels on both YouTube and Full30. Subscribe yourself, share with your friends, and Enjoy the video. Of course, if you're interested in picking up an Armasite like this yourself or anything else at Optics Planet, check out the link there in the description below. That'll get you a discount on this or anything else that they sell. Thanks for watching.